Lord Almighty, who made the heavens in wisdom and set the foundations of the earth firmly in its place, who through our Lord Jesus Christ built the church and established it unshaken upon the rock of faith, do you the same Lord, the great architect and builder, provider and sustainer of all the world, look upon us and bless the work of our hands. In your name we lay this foundation today, and we ask that in your power you may make them firm. For we not, are not wasting our labors by erecting this building on the sand, but on you, the unshakable rock. And thus do we lay this foundation, so that if it rains or pour, if the river should overflow, the wind should blow, it will neither fall nor be disturbed. Bless in peace our undertakings and bring them to a successful conclusion. For we did not gain this land by fire or sword, but by honest sweat and the pursuit of good works. And let this property you have entrusted to our stewardship endure forever. For in obedience to you we accomplish all these things, working by the power and the glory of you, our Father in heaven. And of your only begotten Son and creative word, and your holy and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, look and see, for we begin the excavation of these foundations, and may they stand firm forever. Amen. 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 See now, Lord that we have laid in Zion a cornerstone, chosen, precious, and those who put their trust in it shall never be ashamed. Amen. 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 Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Master, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy Mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the venerable vilest powers in the heavens, through the prayers of the venerable and glorious prophet, foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, of the holy, glorious, victorious martyrs, of our righteous, God-bearing fathers, of the holy, divine answers, Lord Joy Kimanana, and of Saint Spiridon, the patron saint of our church, may you have mercy on us and save us, for you are a good and loving God. Through the prayers of holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. You were a champion at the first council, O Spirit on, and a wonder worker, O Spirit on, a God-bearing Father. You did speak to one dead in the grave, and did 
change a serpent into gold. And while you were chanting your holy prayers, the angel celebrated with you, O most sacred one. Glory to him who has glorified you. Glory to him who has crowned you. We give grateful thanks once again for this beautiful day, for the opportunity to ask God to bless this foundation. We thank all of you for your participation, for your hard work, for your prayers. We ask that you continue to do so. At this time, we're going to dismiss with Andidro, and if you'd like to come forward afterwards and take a picture, uh, we encourage you to do so uh, to remember this precious and wonderful day. Thank you.